in the New Testament, the word that's used for dominion is actually a word that is very familiar to the church. The word that's used for dominion is the word curios. And the word curios means dominion, ruler, power over, position of authority. And the primary word that's used for the word curios is the word lord. So it's not Lord in the sense of, of the Lord of heaven or Lord God, but it's Lord in the sense of you are the person in a position of authority and you need to have the skills of dominion to be able to benefit the things that you're over and the people who are around you. So you are Lord of your life. Even though God is my Lord God and he's the ruler of my life, I am also responsible for my life and I'm the Lord of my life. So that means that when I say I'm gonna get up at six o'clock in the morning, something in me needs to take authority over me so I'll get up six o'clock in the morning because I'm the ruler of my life. So when it comes to this whole idea of Lord, we are not the divine rulers of our life. But as it relates to our day-to-day -day living, we are the decision rulers of our life we need to take authority in our life to make decisions that will cause our life to move forward we cannot say to ourselves that i have no control over my life oh the devil is just destroying my life the only way the devil can destroy your life is if you abdicate your dominion abdicating your dominion is simply not doing what god tells you to do not saying what God tells you to say. Not thinking the thoughts of God. If I think about death, if I think about pain, if I think about struggle, more than I think about life, more than I think about goodness, more than I think about hope, then I'm not walking in dominion. I like how Paul said it. Paul said, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. And they list things like to be honest, um, to be true, to be just, to be pure, to be of a good report. Because he said that when you think upon good things, and you speak those things, and you begin to act those things in your life, you're taking authority in a world that's full of darkness. But you're lighting a light that's shining in the midst of the darkness. That's going to be important for us to walk in the mean. And I... And I try my best to clarify it more and more because I realize that this is one of the things that the devil really tries to mess the church up with. He tries to make either make us be like Cain, where we try to kill people and control people, or he tries to make us be like Abel, just a walking victim. Like, like we're doing good things, but we're not aware that there are enemies that are out there that are trying to harm us. We need to be like Jesus and to be have dominion and to recognize there's some people that don't like me. There are some scenarios that are dangerous, but God also has empowered me with certain gifts and certain abilities to be able to survive in the world. So my words matter, my thoughts matter, my actions matter because I have dominion. And when it comes to dominion, it, it's kind of like you have to kind of peel it piece by piece so you don't have the wrong perception because you can be a leader and not have dominion. But you cannot have dominion and not be a leader. A leader has the ability to influence you, sometimes through intimidation, sometimes through manipulation, sometimes through influence, but best of all to dominion when they take authority over themselves and they take mastery in this world then they're able to better mentor you and i to be able to do the same in our life because the church was never put in place to have people talking about the devil all day crying about how weak they are and waiting to die to go to heaven the church was meant to be a place to ignite a fire of passion in people to let them know that in this world you can have authority and in this world you can have power 